The dome is 170 foot in diameter. The walls there are 20 foot tall. The uh, what we're going to do today is we've got an air form that's a proprietary material, kind of like TPO roofing. It's manufactured in Europe, and they brought it over on the boat. Texas, Texas sewed it all up, get the dome requirements right, and then uh, we attached it to the perimeter of the ring today. We're going to put these high-speed fans on, which will raise the atmospheric pressure and blow the balloon up. Once the balloon is bro uh, blown up, it'll be the configuration of the finished dome. And then we come in and we spray urethane foam four inches thick all the way around it, clear to the top. Then we come back, we stick little barbs in, tie our rebar lattice over, and uh, graduating sizes of rebars. And then we come back and we shot -crete concrete eight inches thick at the top, and then it gradually gets thicker to where it's about 20 inches at the bottom. And that'll take about uh, 45 days to accomplish all that. So this is the first step, so we're pretty excited today. On the uh, tornado side, what, what kind of wind speeds will this thing be able to take? Well, it's supposed to have a uh, an F5. It's supposed to sustain an F5 tornado. I don't know exactly what that is, but it's approaching 240 miles an hour, I think. And it's the same group that built the Kinsley Dome and the Fowler Dome, correct? Uh, the dome builder, South Industries, pioneered this technology, and yes, they built the dome, the actual dome construction in Fowler, Kinsley, and now they're doing doing Dodge City as well. And you, you were explaining earlier how they got into this business in the first place, right? Yeah, uh, it's kind of a family-owned industry, and they've kind of pioneered that technology. They started out uh, building potato warehouses, and they needed to insulate them, and then they needed bigger potato houses, and eventually one thing led to another, and they just started building domes, and, uh, and that's where we're at today. But it's a uh, it's a really good thing for for tornadoes in our in our neck of the woods. So as far as as far as the, the project uh, so far, how, how are you feeling about where you all have been, where are you all are able to be right now? Uh, being that you are able to put the, the dome up today. Oh, uh, we're we're basically on schedule. We're a little bit behind due to rains earlier last month. Uh, we decreased the project project size a little bit so that's going to help us recover some of those days but we have to be done by July 27th uh, 2016 and we don't anticipate any problems with meeting that date and that's a that's a FEMA requirement we have to be done by that date and as far as as far as uh, work conditions it's going to be hot today what are, what are, the, what are ways that you all are battling that working today we drink lots of water it's, you know, it's hot. Uh, we take lots of break, drink lots of water. Uh, it really hasn't been that bad. It's nice and cool right now, so the guys are getting started early in the morning, and when it really gets to cranking about 3 o'clock, they're, they're kind of winding down. So that do what we can anyway. And is this a Monday through Friday effort? Monday through Friday effort, and a little bit on Saturdays just to, just to catch up. And uh, No, it's... it's it's gone real well so far. So what, what's the extent of building solutions responsibilities? Are, are you guys done once the, the dome starts going up? No, we're we're the design build construction manager, so we were integral in, in bringing this design to fruition. And then once the design concept was was finished, then we uh, we came back and, and went and took our design build team and put the uh, project together in budget. And it's been a constant budgetary process to uh, give and take to to work with the college and, and, and give them the most bang for their buck. So, Brian, have you guys ever designed anything like this or worked on a project like this before? Well, we worked on the Fowler project, and we were uh, we did quite a bit over there, and that's how we kind of got our warm fuzzy feeling about domes. So, it uh, this is our first uh, first dome being the, the pro taking the project lead on it so we hope to do more what about size comparison between Tinsley and Fowler Fowler was like 142 diameter this is 170 so it's quite a bit bigger I think Kinsley's is 160 if I remember right we really didn't do much over at Kinsley um, well we didn't do anything over at Kinsley but uh, so it's a 
it's about 10, 10 feet wider than Kinsley, about 30 feet wider than Fowler. I'd like to I'd like to thank the foundation, Dodge City Community College. They've been really good to work with. There's been a lot of political issues surrounding college and, and Hayes, and, and uh, we've kind of been able to put that aside, and, and I hope this is a project that the community can rally around and get us all back on the same page. So. Awesome. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Brian. This is a milestone. This is this is one of the hurdles we've been going to. You know, when you do a project, there's there's different levels that you achieve. We've been waiting for this achievement. This just it's, it's impressive to look at it as you can see standing here looking at it. Well, now this is the big hurdle. Once this is up, uh, South Industries will start doing the monolithic dome, spring the cement. Uh, it'll take them about 60 days to do that, and then we'll start the infrastructure. So. This was this is a big event, big milestone for us in the project. Awesome. Awesome. And what type of things I, I know about the basketball court? Well, 
This is going to be a student activity center, but we're also going to be playing our athletic games, our collegiate basketball and volleyball games in here. But it'll be it'll give us a, uh, a facility to have an extensive intramural program. There'll be an upstairs walking track that not only students can utilize, but so can the public. There'll be no wind. It'll be the same environment 365 days a year. So it'll be a great place to come to and take a nice long walk. Well, we still have a capital campaign going. We're trying to raise money for the project. This right now is about an $8 million project. Uh, we have a FEMA grant for just under $500,000, which worked out just terrific. So we've got to take our hands off to FEMA for being able to help fund this. But we're still looking for donations. We're doing this in stages, uh, and we can only complete it with funds coming in. We're also starting a buy a brick program where you can buy different levels of brick that'll go on the patio out in front near the entrance. Hopefully we can sell all the brick by July of next year and it'll be one of the last things going in. So if you go to our, our, our site, dc3.edu, and get on alumni and friends, you'll see that there's uh, different ways you can contribute. You can contribute online, you can buy a brick online, or you can call the foundation office. And, and I'd be more than happy to visit with you. The project budget's on this around $8 million. We've had to cut out a few things because we haven't had the donations roll in like we hope, but as they do, we'll be able to finish the ring around it. Right now, we're doing it in phases. Well, the only thing we've cut out right now is the wellness center and a room that's, that would go on the south side. We think that's about a $500,000 project. So we think we could do that within the next year. The reason uh, we're doing this part and we have the funds to do it is uh, the deadline with FEMA is July of 2016. So we'll have all the FEMA requirements done by July of 2016. So we're really on schedule. Uh, South Industries has brought two crews, so they'll be able to do their part of the project in a lot less time than what they planned, so that puts us ahead. We'll have it closed up by uh, the end of September, so all the subcontractors have all winter long to work in here, and it'll be a great environment for them to work in. At uh, 7.5, we need another $500,000 to complete what we need to do. We'd really like to raise a little over a million dollars, and then we'd finish the ring completely around it. So we're okay right now, but we, we really would like to talk to some major donors. We have some naming opportunities. We have uh, uh, one donor that has, we have the drive that will be called the D Skinner Drive. It's around the outside, and we're talking to an individual that wants to name the basketball court after his family. So we do have some things in the works. So people are being pretty generous with us so far. You're saying you raised 7.5? We have 7.5 million available. We haven't raised all that money. Okay. So far, I've raised about one and a half to two million dollars. Okay. okay. But we, the city, we've issued some industrial revenue bonds for 5.5 million dollars. The city has partnered with us to do that. We really appreciate their help. Through operations, we have the cash flow to service those uh, those bonds. Okay. 